Hey, welcome to This Week in Marketing, where Coach Jason Pantan and I help you modernize your marketing, build your brand, and ultimately win more business. This week, Jason's going to take you step-by-step -step through how to create Instagram Reel ads and tell you how to get more exposure organically with those Instagram Reels. Hey everyone, my name is Jason Pantana, business coach and national speaker with Tom Ferry. And today we're talking about how to make Instagram Reels ads. You heard me right. You're like, Instagram Reels, yay, they're amazing. In fact, they are. They're the latest and greatest video format that Instagram has made available to its users. And if you're unfamiliar with Reels, let me just kind of give you the crash course. Reels are nine wide by 16 tall, that is 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels tall, vertical multi-clip videos. Instagram made them to compete with TikTok and they are competing quite well. They're doing extraordinarily well, so well, in fact, that Instagram was like, hey, we should make this format available for ads. Why not? These videos are unbelievable. I would bet you, in fact, I know this to be true when I look at our coaching members, uh, the insights on their Instagram, they're getting more exposure off their Instagram reels organically than any other format, more than IGTV, more than Instagram posts, more than their stories. Folks who are non-followers are finding their content and saying, I want to follow and subscribe and I want to be a fan of this particular agent's business because of Instagram reels. So what I'm trying to get at, this is long-winded, I'm trying to say Instagram reels are already freaking killing it organically in terms of views and engagement. And so now we have the opportunity as marketers of our businesses to say, hey, let's put money behind that content. The content performs organically. What happens with money behind it, with a targeted audience behind it, it performs even better. So today's video is a step-by-step, -step, A to Z, end-to-end -end guide on how to create Instagram Reels ads. Let's dive in. Now, before we dive into the step-by-step -step training on how to create the Instagram Reels ads, uh, first, let's talk about where they might show up just so you can understand kind of the end result we're playing for. So currently, if you upload an Instagram Reel, that Reel may show up in three different Instagram feeds because guess what? Instagram has a lot of different feeds. They have their home feed, which is that main feed of all the people you follow and stuff like that. They have the stories feed across the top. They have the explore feed where you can discover new content. And now they have the Reels feed. Well, an Instagram Reel organically can show up in the Reels feed, of course, which is a space dedicated to Instagram Reels. It's mostly about discovery. In your Reels feed as a user, you might see Reels from people you follow, but you're gonna see a lot of Reels from people you don't follow based loosely or very closely on your interests. Now in the explore feed, again, you might see content from folks you follow, but you're going to also see a lot of content from folks you don't follow because Instagram's trying to show you things that it thinks you might be interested in. And in the home feed, you're going to see mostly the stuff that you follow. So there are three spots, three feeds where you can see an Instagram reel now. It's the reels feed, the explore feed, and the home feed, but not the stories feed. That's true organically, and it's going to be the case with your reels only ad also. All right, now step one, when you run these Instagram Reels ads, it's actually done through the Facebook Ads Manager. So you have to connect your Facebook Ads account and your Instagram account. There are really three ways to go about doing this. And, and there's a good chance it's already connected. So the first way is in the mobile app with Instagram. You can go into your settings from your profile and you can make sure that through the ad center, things are connected. Now, I should have already said this. Your Instagram account needs to be either a creator profile or a business profile to even have advertising opportunities. So it can't be a personal profile. So go to your business, your settings in the app and you can actually link it up through the ad center inside the mobile app for Instagram. Option two is to do it from your Facebook business page. So on your Facebook business page, you'll click on page settings, you'll scroll down, you'll click Instagram accounts, and you'll be able to link up your Instagram account with your Facebook page. That's an option. And then the last option is, and this is probably the most technical, but the best option is to do it through the Facebook business manager. Now, that's a whole training unto itself, the Facebook business manager, which we will not get into today. But for anybody who is more advanced and maybe has a whole team working on their ads, you would go into your Facebook business manager, you would click on business settings, you would scroll down to the Instagram account section and make sure it's linked up and then also make sure that you're going to give the permission, the appropriate levels of permission to any of your users or partners in your business settings. So again, three ways 
You got to connect it to your Facebook ads manager. The easiest way is just do it in the app on your iPhone. The second easiest way is go to your Facebook page, click on settings, and then make the swap right there. Not the swap, but the connection right there. And the most complicated, but best way is through the Facebook business managers in your business settings, but you have to have it connected. Otherwise, there's no way to actually take your ad from the Facebook ads manager and route it to the appropriate Instagram account. All right, there you go. All right, now that all the technical setup stuff is done, we can get into the actual brass tacks of setting up our Instagram Reels ad campaign. To do that, you do that from your Facebook ads manager. You have a couple of ways to get to your ads manager. You can find your ways to click through it from within Facebook, or you can just go to facebook.com slash ads manager, or if you're in your Facebook business manager, again, my advanced users, you'll just click on ads manager. So again, the easiest way is facebook.com slash ads manager. That's assuming that on that browser, you're logged into your Facebook page, your Facebook account. And if you're logged into Facebook, by extension, you're now connected to Instagram per the last step. So here we are, we're in the Facebook ads manager and I'm at the campaign tab. There are three tabs here, campaigns, ad sets, and ad. You'll see how those kind of factor into building an ad campaign in a second. Uh, I'm gonna simply click on that big green button that says create, I'm gonna make a new ad. And then it brings up, choose a campaign objective. Now, certain types of ad objectives work or don't work with Instagram Reels placements. Here are the ones that do work. You can choose brand awareness, reach, traffic, meaning I wanna drive traffic ideally to like a web page. They wanna to click to go out of the app and go to a web page. You can choose app installs, not really our gig. You can choose video views, hmm, it's probably gonna be that one. Or you could choose conversions, which means there has to be like a pixel and some tracking on the back end of your website to actually monitor the conversions, more technical. So I'm gonna pretty much stick over here in this lane. I'm gonna choose video views as my objective. What I'm saying to Facebook is, hey, I, I know that I'm gonna do a Reels ad. They don't know that yet, but I know that. And I know that what I want to measure my success by is actually getting people to watch it. I'm just trying to get awareness and promotion of that piece of content, whatever it might be. So I'm gonna choose that and I'm gonna click continue and it's gonna actually take me into the builder of making this campaign. So notice over here, the left-hand sidebar, I've got, there's my campaign level, there's my ad set, there's my ad. Those are the three stages we're gonna walk through building an ad campaign. I'm gonna move quickly, but I'm gonna go through the parts that matter and ignore all the parts that don't. First things first, you can name it, but that doesn't really matter, but you could name it. Uh, second thing is this does matter for all my North American friends in real estate. You must declare the special ads category of housing or they will reject your ad pretty much always. It's almost a certainty. I'm gonna scroll down. I wanna make sure that budget optimization is off and then I'm gonna click next and it's gonna take me out of the campaign level and into the ad set level. The ad set level is where we're really doing the work today. The ad set level is your budget. It's who you're targeting. It's where the ad's gonna be placed called placements. <gasps> Reels, we're gonna place it in reels. So I'm gonna just scroll through and I'm not gonna do all these steps today, but you would set a budget, a daily budget or a lifetime budget, that's your prerogative. You're gonna notice that it doesn't have an end date. So if you don't wanna pay Facebook money for every day of your life, then put an end date. Uh, we're gonna scroll on down to audience. This is where you choose your targeting. Now by default, mine is set to target all the US. I could choose to retarget my custom audiences. Again, that's a different training than today's purposes. I could choose the geo target. So like, let's pretend I'm gonna choose Nashville, Tennessee. I'm gonna put an X there. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna target people living in or recently in this location. I'm gonna say Nashville, because maybe I'm trying to promote my content to, let's do Nashville DMA, the greater Nashville area, designated market area. So basically, that's part of Kentucky, in fact. Basically, greater Nashville is now being targeted and it's estimating through plays 531 to 1. 1.5 thousand per day. Now a through play means 15 seconds or longer of my video. My video can only be 30 seconds, so that's half, hooray. It doesn't know that it's a reel yet though. It'll get to that in a second. Um, you have limitations on your targeting because of the special ads category. So we're gonna scroll out of the audiences section and into this placements box. Now on the placements level, by default, it's on automatic, which I would normally say, that's the right decision. In this case, I'm gonna choose manual placements and it's gonna say all devices, yeah, I don't care about that stuff. But I look here, I say Facebook, Audience Network, Messenger, let's check those off. And I'm gonna leave Instagram on, then I'm gonna scroll down to the individual ones, Instagram feed, Instagram explore, Instagram stories. Oh, look what's unchecked, Reels. So when I check Reels, it unchecks everything except stories. So technically, I could let a Reels ad also distribute to stories, which means, and I already said this in the beginning, we know that with Reels, a Reels ad can already place 
in the explore feed, in the home feed, in the reels feed, even though these turned off, it can still put the ad there. It's just, it's confusing like that. This is a new format, but I can turn on the stories feed too. And I can hit all four feeds with this piece of content now inside of Instagram. Now to keep things clean and simple, I'm going to just do the reels ad placement, but you'll notice if I put it back on automatic, I just want to show you this real quick. I'm going to go back up to automatic. And then if I click manual, it will reset itself with everything checked. I want you to notice that it does not start with reels being checked by default. Where is it? There it is. Reels is unchecked by default. So if I check it, everything else turns off except for stories. So that's how we do a reels placement, meaning the place I want my ad to show is in reels. We're going to scroll on down and then we get to optimization and delivery. This is a little hack. It's set for through plays. Sometimes certain campaign objectives allow you to change when you get billed. So for example, if I click show more options, it says when I get charged per an impression, meaning every time somebody sees my video, regardless of if they watched it for longer than a millisecond, basically, I'm going to start paying Facebook, Instagram money for that ad campaign. I'm going to click edit. Again, not every campaign objective allows this, but video views does, which is partially why I chose it. I'm going to switch it to a through play, which means they have to watch at least 15 seconds of it. So it's like, hey, Facebook, hey, Instagram, put your money where your mouth is. I'm going to click next. And we're going to go into the ad creative level. And we've already got some errors here because we haven't filled it out yet. So you can name it. We're going to confirm the identity of the Facebook page, the Instagram account. The Facebook page doesn't matter. This is because we already turned off everything but Instagram. But hey, whatever, it's still there. Ad setup, I can create an ad and or I can choose to use an existing post, which is what I'm gonna do here today. I'm gonna choose select post. And when I do, I've got Facebook and Instagram across the top. Now, Instagram is, you would actually think, oh, I'm gonna go grab my Instagram real video, but unfortunately those don't port over. So I'm gonna choose Facebook because I always redistribute my content. When I post a reel on Instagram, I also post it to my Facebook page. And look, there one is that I just did here recently. So I'm going to choose that video right there and I'm going to click continue. Now I might have an issue with that video. We're going to see what it is. The video length is not valid. Okay. Cause that video is 60 seconds. So I'm going to go back and change it. I'm going to click change post. I'm going to scroll down to one that I know is only 30 seconds. And voila, I have my reel selected. Remember, it can only be 30 seconds long. It can't be the whole 60 seconds or it's not supported for an ad at this point in time. So I've got my ad selected and I can add a bunch of extra little gizmos, add a CTA call to action button for like learn more, go to the website. I could do that if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep this one clean and easy for the day. I'm going to scroll down. By default, it's going to pull in my caption. So really there's nothing more to be done here except to click publish. And at that point in time, once I publish the campaign, we're done. We're off to the races. We have an ad objective. We have a campaign objective of video views. We have optimized for through plays. We're only paying for through plays. We're doing a reels only placement with the reel that is under 30 seconds that I already published organically. And now I'm going to pay to promote it to people in my market area. Now, as far as the targeting goes, you could choose to target your location. You could choose to target special ad audiences. You could retarget people. You can target based upon your own prerogative. But the point is you can do it. And so today's training is about recognizing what you can take advantage of with a Reels ad placement. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know if this training was useful for you. Tag some friends and make sure you subscribe. Thanks very much for tuning in.